Bruh. Today we're going to be spending the entire day with the brand new, well, not brand new, but with the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Woo! For me, this is actually my first foldable and I'm really, really excited. I haven't really used a lot of foldables, so I'm really excited to see how this will match up with my day-to-day -day activity. One of the biggest perks about this is the productivity aspect of it. So I really need to push that to the test. The time is currently 11.21 a.m. I know, I, I just woke up late, so that's by the way. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Destiny and I make amazing videos with tech gadgets and everything you like to say about tech, but I make them in a really fun way so that you can easily understand and still get the best out of it. The studio is looking really, really scattered and messed up. So the first thing we are going to do is listen to some music from this. Huh, that would be a good time to test the speakers. Listen to some music from this while we clean up the studio. Let's go. So I'm wondering why I'm putting on this ridiculous head warmer or heart warmer on. So let's just take it off. I'm not gonna lie, the speakers on these guys are pretty, pretty decent. I like what I'm hearing, especially from the speakers and it, it, it's decent, I'm not gonna lie. And before I forget, these amazing wood slats, the ones I'm using currently in my studio, were given to me by the Wood Veneer Hub. Now, these guys were super awesome. Their website has some of the best inspirations. And this just generally is changing the look of the office. The office and the studio is not completely done. I'll make sure to do like an in-depth video of my new updated workstation once that's completed. But thanks to the guys at Wood Veneer. And if you like to upgrade yours, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go check it out. So you know there's something really just therapeutic about cleaning. I don't know. I just love to vacuum. <laughs> so we're done with cleaning, let's go ship some stuff to UPS. Tropical hot region, Nigeria. So this is pretty cold for me. Teriyaki Tuesday. <laughs> One of the best things to eat on a Tuesday. Unfortunately, today is not Tuesday, so that is not happening. I am freezing. Come on. 14, 13, 12, 11. Hey, man. How are you doing today? Fine, I have a bunch of things to send. So, done with that. And I'm beginning to get a little bit hungry. You said that you collected it yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, I want to get something to eat, but before I do that, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Z Fold 5. Just some things you might want to consider. So one of the biggest difference was in the hinge, right? Um, the last Z Fold, it didn't close as flush as this. But if you look at this, you see that now the hinge snaps a little bit better, which makes it more comfortable, makes it more compact. And also like where the light is, like the LED light was also changed, but that is just for physical appearance. So before I go and grab something to eat, I just want to talk about like the operating system. We all know that this uses its own One UI Android version, but technically it's still like built on that Android. And I feel like that's why we're not having the best of experience for it. But with the One UI 5 updates and with the One UI 6 in beta so far, I've not experienced much difficulty. I had a little issue trying to multitask, but I figured that out easily. So like, it's really not an issue. And this time I'm really starving. So are you ready to eat? Yes, sir. I'm starving. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. <laughs> I have. All right, let's go.
we're waiting for Mule to get ready, I thought it would be a nice time to kind of show you how the camera of this phone works. One of the good things you'll notice about this phone is if the phone is kind of like hinged in this whole 45 degree, you can easily take a photo and see it instantly in the second display. If I do take a picture, I see it immediately like in the second display and you know just for productivity to help you save some time from going back to your gallery or clicking on that button like it just shows their property. Taking the next photo like the pictures just kind of stack up together and I don't know if you can see this but you can just easily scroll up and that but that's not even where it gets interesting where it gets interesting is when you click on this button towards the top right corner and it's basically like the cover preview on so when you turn on the cover preview on, when you're taking pictures of people they can see themselves and properly frame themselves in the picture like this now he can see are you in frame I can see you in frame you're in frame and you can take the photo and it just makes a lot of sense. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy Thursday. So what I really love about this feature, the cover screen preview is in as much as when you want to take someone a picture, they can see themselves. When you want to take some of the world best selfies, right you can use the main camera to take the selfie and you can preview yourself and then take the picture and you're sure of like getting a really really clear photo for you to use I'm home deep and I hate to pick out some extension and possibly some power strips because when you say in the morning I have a new studio we're still working out some technicalities in it and I'm still trying to do some cable management just to make sure everything is neat so if I stop by Home Depot come with me while I get like the perfect extension cable if there's anything like that but basically that is why I'm here so come along You've been watching, you've been <laughs> You've been watching. This is the front facing, yeah? Yeah. And also this is how the front facing camera is. I really like the fact that you can just place it down, angle it, you can see yourself directly and you can move it around, you know, and but most importantly, how does this look? How does the quality look? And it's an under display. It's an selfie under camera. display selfie camera. That means you can see it like on display. I knew you knew that. But... <laughs> so this is me currently testing the 8K feature of the camera, iPhone 10. And also at the same time testing how the audio is going to sound. The audio you're hearing is currently from the Samsung Z05, no filter, no enhancement. How does this look? Let me know in the comments.
Are you guys there's no lag. If there was lag, it would be the Wi-Fi's problem, not your, not the phone. Oh my god, like, I can't remember my last time I pulled, but I tried, I, I did try, but that's not why we're here. We came here to talk about the gaming features of this phone, and as you can see from this clip, the extended screen gives you like an advantage in like gaming, because it's bigger than the normal smartphone, and you can see a whole lot more things. I really do love it. For battery, I've used this for about two hours on screen time, and out of those two hours, as you can see, some of the activities I've been able to do with the battery, this is geared more towards like productivity and I would say it was able to replace my laptop a little bit but we've come to the part whereby I give my score for this and I give like my overall comments. Considering that this is the first foldable I've used and I have nothing to compare it against, just from the experience I got from this, I would give it a solid 9. You might think this might be biased, but when I use other foldables, then I might be able to revise it. But so far, it was product driven. I could do a lot of things. I could still like watch my movie, watch my music, be productive, do a lot of work, enjoy the entire gaming, gaming experience. The battery optimization is really good. The cameras are not all that great, but hey, you can't get all you want in life. Overall, I would recommend this to you if you have the budget from it. It's pretty pricey. I wouldn't just say get this if you're just looking to experiment. All in all, this is an amazing phone. I've had an amazing day. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video and thank you for staying true to the end. You guys make me do this video every time. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see what the negativity But I just slide right by that Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never ran to the no man I still go Go, go, go